So, um, as we know, um, we are building up to, to World Rabies Day 20, uh, 2021. And I'm going to give you a bit of a, a history of rabies, a uh, history of World Rabies Day, and where we are now. So looking at the history of World Rabies Day, we know that World Rabies Day was uh, is celebrated every year on September 28th. But why is this done? Why do we do World Rabies Day? Why do we celebrate this day? So as Prof. Noel rightly mentioned, we, uh, this, is, we are, this is the 15th World Rabies Day. And the whole idea of World Rabies Day is to raise awareness and give a voice to the silent victims of rabies and those communities that continue to live at risk of rabies. So we know that rabies is an endemic disease across the developing world in Africa and Asia. Um, and we know that um, there are many people who are still dying unnecessarily, as Prof. Nell mentioned, of this disease and um, continuing to die a needless death. So we need to raise awareness about the disease and ensure that uh, we all work together to drive rabies elimination. So the key aspects of World Rabies Day are to raise global awareness about this disease and how to stop the disease, to educate people in rabies endemic countries, especially children and health professionals. Children, because we know that 40% of the victims of rabies are children under the age of 15. And importantly, to mobilize resources to support local rabies prevention programs. And we're going to hear about some of those local prevention programs from all around the world today. So we know that, working, uh, that World Rabies Day is all about working together, about celebrating those local actions from the community, but bringing different individuals together so that we can work together towards a common goal. And this has been seen throughout the history of World Rabies Day um, from the, the people, uh, the executive director of, of the Global Alliance for Rabies Control in 2007, uh, from the very first World Rabies Day in 2007, where um, Dr. Deborah Briggs mentioned that working together to make rabies history. So we need to come together, bring these, this community together so that we can eliminate this terrible disease. And from Prof. Nell in 2015, a very famous quote from an African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And this, again, re-emphasizes that importance of the community and why World Rabies Day is celebrated so that we can bring these people and these communities together to eliminate this completely unnecessary disease. So why is World Rabies Day celebrated on the 28th of September? So uh, maybe a less common fact, commonly known fact is that World Rabies Day in 2007 was in fact first celebrated on the 8th of September. And this was done to, to announce the elimination of dog mediated rabies in the USA through mass dog vaccination. So this was a, a huge feat, a great accomplishment and warranted the celebration of, of this event. And so World Rabies Day was first um, started in 2007 in collaboration with the US CDC and other partners. But as this progressed, as we moved to 2008 and every year following since 2008, World Rabies Day was changed to September 28th. And the significance of this day was that it is the, the anniversary of the death of Louis Pasteur, who, said, who, who created the first rabies vaccine. And you can see on the right hand side of the screen here, the original publication from 1885, where they, they published the, the success of this, this vaccination. And the very famous photo at the bottom here with Louis Pasteur, Emile Rue and Joseph Meister receiving the first rabies vaccination. So looking at the success of the very first World Rabies Day in 2007, so the goal of this World Rabies Day was to reach 55,000 people around the world to raise awareness, educate them, and promote the elimination of this disease. 55,000 was chosen because at the time, that was the, the estimate for the number of human deaths every year from rabies. And from that day, 
um, the, the, the stats show that 74 countries were involved around the world. More than 600,000 animals were vaccinated against rabies. 393,000 people were directly involved in creating events, in vaccinating animals, in raising awareness, in educating people about the disease. And with that collaboration, with those people coming together around the world, they managed to reach 54 million people with the messaging about rabies, about raising awareness. So this truly shows the power of that community, the power of people coming together to, to work together to, towards a common good, towards the common public health good in the elimination of rabies. And with that effort, they can reach a huge audience of 54 million people. So that was the start of World Rabies Day in 2007. And since then, um, and, and part of this webinar is to, to continue that momentum and to gain that momentum, um, to build that momentum towards the 2030 goal and beyond that if needed. And since then, we've seen more than 3,000 World Rabies Day events registered on the global platform. And that averages out to about 200 events every single year. And we can see that this momentum has continued to build because since 2016, there's actually been an average of 240 events every year. And more and more recently, we've seen that continue to grow um, every year. And we hope that that continues to grow so that we see that momentum, so that we see this global community truly coming together to eliminate this disease. And again, highlighting that, highlighting the, the reach of this day, with more than 116 countries participating around the world. So as you may know, every year there is an annual theme for Drabies Day. And this theme is based on the current global situation in terms of rabies control and elimination predominantly, but also um, influencing current events around the world. And you can see the different themes throughout the, 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 the years, including the zero by 30 theme at the top left. And that includes obviously with the, the, the launch of the global strategic plan and continuing through the different years um, towards this year's theme. So the theme for this year, um, as you may know already, is rabies facts, not fear. We have these themes, we have the resources available in different languages, and you'll hear more about this um, with the presentation later on. But why was this theme chosen? So to address the two main parts of, of raising awareness towards rabies elimination, looking at fear, first of all. So the fear of rabies, the fear of being bitten by a dog, of contracting rabies. Also the fear being a symptom of rabies. If we think about hydrophobia, that is the fear of water, aerophobia, the fear of air on you. Um, so this is actually a symptom of rabies. And of course, the fear caused by misconception and fake news. So thinking about the, the, these myths and misconceptions about rabies that cause fear because it causes this unknown, it causes this, this extra terror. That's unnecessary because we know that with the facts, we can eliminate this disease and we can eliminate the fear with these facts. As an example, by vaccinating your animals against rabies, we know for a fact that that is effective way to eliminate the disease. To seek medical treatment after an exposure, it's a fact that even after an exposure, if you seek the appropriate post-exposure prophylaxis, you can um, be, be saved from the disease. And to share good data about the disease situation. So good surveillance data, making sure that the facts are available to people so that we can address these fears and this misconception and this, this fake news. So looking at World Rabies Day 2021 already, already we can see that events have started to be registered around the world 
Um, I think at the time this, uh, this um, image was taken, uh, it was on the 27th of August, so already a few days ago, and the number of events continues to increase on a daily basis. Uh, when I last checked this morning, we we're on 46 events registered around the world, and we hope that this continues to rise. We hope that all of you attending this webinar will either participate in an event or, of course, host your own event and register it on the global platform to make sure that your voice is heard, that you can join those others so that we can reach the whole world with these essential messages about rabies elimination. So I'd like to please encourage you to register your World Rabies Day event. And we look forward to seeing that on, on the global platform. And also we look forward to seeing and hearing about those local champions on the ground um, throughout the rest of this webinar. We'll be telling their stories, hopefully inspiring you to register your event and take action this World Rabies Day. Thank you very much.